I know. We got to get started. I kept hoping AB would pull in. A lot of people might have broken down that recently. I know. Don't okay. feel strapped. We're going to go ahead and start with the pledge, and then if Commissioner Matt, indication, I'll just say. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before you this evening, ask your blessings upon us as we endeavor to uh, conduct the, uh, the business of our city. May we do so with a mind for service to our citizens, doing what is best for our community and making it a better place to live. Bless us during this season of love and joy. May we have that same feeling all year, not just one time of this year. But bless us during this time. Keep everyone safe as they travel. And during the holiday season, keep them in our loving care. Be with us tonight, Father, and always. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay. Get this first item is the approval of minutes. Make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, same by the time. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, Paying of the bills. Make the motion that we pay the bills. Second. Motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, same pat Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business, cemetery lot prices. Amy Puckett brought this to our attention. Something we might want to revisit a little it. bit because of. Did there's you get any perspective ones? How much it was costing everywhere else? Well, no, this is, we've already, we passed it last last month, the price on them. Yeah. But I mean, there's some in an, an older section that's mm -hmm. not, it, it's not, doesn't lay well, it's not the best. So she felt like those might be need to, to stay a little lower. I told her we'd revisit it. Larry, can you sh add anything to that? Yeah, she, she, what she said, you know, there, like section A, and B, and E, and F, there's virtually nothing left. Section, uh, D and B and C. C and D, there's a few left, and there's there's more singles than anything. Yeah, that's the one down in by the garage. Oh, yes, by the building. Well, what are they now? Two fifty. I leave leave all of them, but you know, so I, was, I, I leave them like they are, and all the others that price we talked about. That's what what she was asking if we would reconsider. Cause she she, she said she deals with it all the time. Second. And, okay, we have a motion I'll second. That in, I'll put that in a form of motion. However, Gio wants to word it. Thank you. You can figure that out, Jim. The motion is whatever Amy wants. <laughs> Gosh, I hate to say I'll that. <laughs> anything, no. but a, anything but a, a check. Don't give her a check. No, because you won't get it back. That's right. right. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Sandy, you have anything to bring up? I don't. Charles? No, I'm in pretty good shape here at Christmas. Kevin? I'm not saying a word. I'm happy. I'm not, everything's going really good. I hate, I hate to say too much because it's going good. But don't jinx it. Downtown looks amazing. I had so many comments the on the lights, <laughs> on the light post. It's like, I'm not out much at night. <laughs> I didn't know they would make that much difference. It's amazing. Jill, you have anything you need to talk? For the JVO <laughs> Yes, we're still needing some people to, on the Joint Board of Adjustments and, what, two on that one? And, one on that one and then just I, oh, And then one on the board, the planning and zoning board itself. I forgot all about that. think about that. Do you have anybody in mind at all? No, I've talked to several people, but none of them are really interested. Hmm. Do you have a little description of what exactly it would entail for a person? Kind of hard to recruit someone. I don't really yeah, know. we can get some stuff yeah. put together. What's Amy? She's still on the plan. Uh, oh, Mike, or Travis, do you have anything you want to? She doesn't. <laughs> Mike. Good deal. Larry? 
that time we wanted to put him in another way. He signed Mark Crow over uh, groundwater treatment and distribution. Uh, we actually may have a second person we may send. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Mark's going in January and in February. Hopefully, uh, things go well. I know they're working on changing some of that certification process and programs and stuff. And I know we're working with uh, KY CT, T, OCTC, I still call it that, but the Kentucky one, about maybe putting some type of a program in through the community college system for nice. water and wastewater. It would have to be, not like it's a two year course, you know, but a classes that would work through the community colleges. To try to get it out closer to the different cities. It would be more beneficial that if they would have, let's say it was a year's course, you know, for four classes for the whole year, they would learn more over a 12 month period than they do in three days, you know, trying to cram everything in. It would be, be definitely beneficial. Well, uh, Ryan Quarles, Commissioner of, current Commissioner of Agriculture, is the new president of KYCTS. <coughs> And he has worked. There's several things he's wanting to do that would help, and that's one of them that'd be very beneficial to us. So, so you have anything else? Okay, we're gonna have. We do need a short closed session, but one thing I want everybody to be thinking of, since this is our last meeting this year, starting in January, I'd like to try to get some ideas from you guys on what you see as priorities <coughs> the city needs to work on in 2024. Because I know one of mine is, is code enforcement. And I, I was hoping David to be here tonight. We talked a little bit about it, but uh, it's something that's we're going to have to really get a handle on. I think mine could go right along with it. Cleaning up Oldman Park. We, we, there's, actually, old there's, there's new regs that have just come out. It's been out for about a year now. Uh, it's the lead and copper over the Flint, Michigan deal. Uh, there's some classes coming up we're going to start taking. I guess we're going to have to verify, the state is going to verify what our service lines are on our side of the meter and the homeowner side. And uh, what I've been told, you know, you've got to document the pictures. So if this is the case, yeah, dig them all up. We'll have to dig every one up to verify and log, take pictures. So, 20, and it's due September 1st, 2024. So, we will be, I have, I have a couple of guys tied up. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Why, how do they have the right to do that? Division one. I mean, I mean with, with the Flint, Michigan, you know, where they got, uh, well, they, they switched their water sources. Uh, it, it, it's what triggers all this. So. You're going to not just but, dig up the cities, you're going to take homeowners to the, air we, to the we, house? We have to verify on each side of the meter. How far? All the way to the house? No. Nope. On each other, oh, so you don't have to go all the way to the house. I was thinking you had to go all the way to the house, take pictures of it. I was like, whoa. Every house. Every house. And you're verifying what was those pictures? Pictures and a log book. No lead, no copper? It, uh, they, it, it can't be a no lead service line, but they want to log in on what the service line is. They want to know what it is. Hmm. There's probably going to be some funding come along with that to take care of and rem Kentucky remediate. Kentucky Rural Water told, told us to hold off and that there should be something coming in December or first of January. But there may be more money down the line to help remediate so. some of these if there are some lead lines to replace. Mm. Wow. Some of the older section town, you could have some. That's all I want. Look I have it. never seen one in Beaver Dam, but I'm not going to say that there's not any. Yeah, I'm going to say I've been. Because the they're not right. so upset with the copper, are they? No, the copper is, is fine at this point. It's, yeah, it's the it's lead. The lead. Yeah, of course, yeah, that could change in five years if somebody decides copper's bad. Copper you know, but for you dig them, though, a lot of the old galvanized. <laughs> You're going to start replacing them. If you start digging, you're going to disturb some. Can you, will you not be able to tell a whole lot at the meter? All I'm in tow is they're wanting pictures. I, I, don't, I don't know much more than that at this time. And you're going to dig by hand, most of them, aren't you? Well, no. Yeah? Uh, Around the meters, you might. Think about where my meter is. You're going to have to dig that one by hand. I'm not worried about you. We can bring a backhoe in there. No problem. <laughs> That's fine. I need a, I need a new new carport or a new garage, it would be really like that. I thought you were going to talk very much tonight. Hey, you're if, he want, if he wants to put up a new carport garage, yeah, like, you're more, you want to tear damage, I mean, I can go up there. No, I, I got a farm up here, I can go up and start chiseling up and plowing real quick. We'll make a lot of difference in the city. He, he needs to read up on the law. Uh, 
Ain't no easement on that fella. Doesn't matter after so many years. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a lifetime of me. So I move to go into closed session. All right. Second. <coughs> and talk, and talk, and talk, and talk. Come back to closed session. <laughs> I make a motion that next next meeting Larry Carter has to wear a muzzle. You <coughs> second what I just said. Second. Okay. I can't even pick it up. There. I can pick it up like that. Quit laughing at me, Jill. We have already moved. Oh, the majority gets back in here. Yeah, okay. we're in. Does anybody have anything else to bring up? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Make a motion to adjourn. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Brewery. Uh, oh. What? Yeah, that was under yours. I forgot to print it off. Uh, we need to, I need to ask permission to sell a sewer tap to the new brewery place. Since they are located out of city limits. Could we Do consider the idea of waiving that? That'd be my next. The fee for the economic, because of the economic development, the jobs it's bringing? Right waiving the fee. The sewer tax fee? Mm -hmm. That'd be for economic, because it's economic development. Well, they had come down here one day last week. I don't think they've already paid it or not. They've already paid it. Oh. Already paid it. Oh, okay. And Friday. I know they came in one day last week. Never mind. Sounds we just, like we're doing it then. Well, we just need proof. <laughs> well, there's been a little issue with that, but it's okay. We, what they've got, they have a... We, we first discovered it. It never had been done, and they've used a lot of water. Of course, our sewer is based on your water usage. And I talked to some of them out through another third party, talked to them out there about what we could do to fix it and then found out they actually have a flow meter on their sewer. And the guy that was overseeing was a little upset because he said, we were told it was turned on, <laughs> but it was never turned on. So, because they, because so much of their water doesn't go through the system, right. because it goes out in the mash and what goes in the, the bourbon and what gets evaporated out anyway, so what we're talking about doing, and I know that'll be the second issue, but I'll kind of turn it all, explain it all here together, is did y'all come up with the time frame? Uh, they said Jeff Morris is coming out one day this week to get it turned on, to get it calibrated, and then we're going to let it run for a, for a one-month build cycle to see what percentage of water they use versus water what was, was sent to us, and then base their last... Because they should have paid in June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. But on top of that, their, their flow meter, it is, uh, it is read, I think, by a laser. We need to make sure that it's in our minutes that it's calibrated once a year because it will fall out of calibration. Uh, we, we, have, we have another factor that does the same thing. Their flow meter is running, uh, stir cycle. They have to prove to us every 12 months that it is calibrated, which is nothing. How does it fall out of calibration? Well, anytime you have flow going through it, if it was something mechanical, it's, it's a whole lot easier or simpler. But when you have a certain amount of flow, it, it's uh, it gauges by depth. It, it reads to the depth. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Then they're, they're really, really, really accurate. So we just need to make sure it's in Sometimes high tech doesn't work well. Well, mm -hmm. but it is very. Yeah, very it's well, accurate. It works well, it's wonderful. You know, we, we had one at the wastewater plant. That was part of our plan, but it had to be calibrated once a year. We just need to make sure this is for same. So we need a motion to approve the cell on the tap. Yeah. Then we need a motion. Uh, even the, the motion needs to state that the calibration needs to be done. So okay. As far as the building, y'all write that. As far I'll as the make building, the motion. I don't, I don't think we have. <laughs> okay. Second. We have a motion and second. Is there any further discussion? We're not doing anything any different with anybody else. Oh no. This, those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed same. That motion passes. I'm glad you just about to remember that. I, I was going to print out that, I told him to email me before I looked again, and I went to print out this morning, and Travis had come in there, and I got lost. So it's Travis's fault. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Well, he's already throwing you in the bus. I don't know. I'm used to it. <laughs> At least he's here to hear it. <laughs> you usually hear what he says when you know him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to do. He's used to that too. <laughs>
Okay, now we'll enjoy now, the motion yeah. to adjourn. I'll, I'll put it back on the table. I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> so, uh, everybody have a, if I don't see you again, have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Are we going closer? <laughs> motion going to open session. Second. Whatever. And then a motion to go to closed session. My motion going to closed session. Whatever. Make a motion we go in back in open se closed session. Oh, okay. Open session. Second. I said it right the first time. We're going somewhere opposite of where we've been. Who's going to second that? I did. We're back in open session. Like I said, closed session. Appreciate Amy coming in. We did not conduct any business, but I think we'll listen to that. We'll make a motion on that. I make a motion, motion on the okay. South Lafayette. That we foreclose. start foreclose on the property on South Lafayette Street. I'll have to get you an address. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor saying about that? Aye. Opposed, second. Motion passes. I move we foreclose on the property on West 2nd Street. Bad room can be given to the first. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor say by the aye. Opposed, uh, second. Motion passes. Now, we have a motion to adjourn. We adjourn. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We readjourn. Charles, Charles, second.